Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mob. We are back with more Starbound. Let's continue on our journey to find a nice florid planet to, um, of course, study it and learn more about the amazing gem that we have to find. Pretty sure it's a gem. Some sort of treasure. Anyway, we need to go to the moon, but the moon does not have oxygen, so we have to craft. Remember, it's going to be a breathing EPP. Now, we have all of the tungsten we need. We're just missing some glass, so we're quickly going to go to a desert planet and just grab some of that and then head right back, and then we'll go mine the planet for some liquids. We're, it's going to be great. Um, let's, go, let's go find another like place in the solar system, too. That would be really cool. Okay, so let's see. So we started here. We ended up here. Let's go check this out. Ooh, look at this. Like, you can't land on this because this is just a giant gas ball planet. This one is crappy. If it doesn't even have tungsten, I don't think it's worth it for us to head there. Uh, let's see. Weather, whatever. This is this is a moon right here. This is perfect. So we need to go here later. Um, it looks like the only desert planet that I can find is this. Oh, no. Uh, yeah, the desert planet is the one here that we were at. It's the only one with the desert planet. So there you go. It's the one we ended up before we died. So we're not going to go underground. We're just going to quickly look at it and stuff. Um, let's see. Can I get any upgrades? Crew. You are the only registered crew member. God dang it. Oh my god. This is so cool. We can have like crew members later. Um, so remember, we have the Dreaded Wing mission later. Absolutely. Once we be get better armor. Um, let's see. Is there any like upgrades I can do to myself? I'm pretty sure I can do some sort of upgrades. Let's see here. How to upgrade. Because we did pick up a bunch of... Oh my god, we lost... Okay, so we have a lot of tech upgrades and man and manipulator stuff. And they got absolutely destroyed, you know? Because we got, like... We just got wrecked. Okay. So let's see. The next upgrade is going to be... Wire mode. Um, matter deconstruction rate by 200. I think we'll do this one. Matter reconstruction rate by 200 so we can easily mine. Even better. You know, without the use of pickaxes and stuff. But yeah, we lost a lot because we died. <laughs> it sucks. Alright, let's go beam down to current planet. I don't know how much um, how much I actually need of sand. But we'll just grab a bunch. So I think this counts as sand. Yeah, this counts as sand. Alright, it's, uh, it's kind of slow. Not that slow. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, you know, do some of this. Hmm. Man, it, it, this sucks. There isn't that much hotkeys here for me. I really don't like this. I want to always have the salve there, but then this is the rope and Molotov. Oh well, it's going to be mining for now. Alright, anyway, let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, look how fast this is. So we'll grab about 100 and we'll head back. Easy peasy. And the thing is, we don't even have to travel back. All we have to do is go back to our checkpoint, which was there. So that's great. Da, 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 da. This is good. Okay, we have over 100 already. Jesus. Um, a little bit more, just a little bit more. So I'm pretty sure that the items that I died with are pretty much gone. And even if they're not, I don't know where they were. But that was a lot of stuff wasted. But it's cool. Okay, I'm going to stop at 300. This is great. 300. I got some loose silt. Yay. Wonderful. Alright, that's good. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Look, you can't beam up if there's a background wall behind you, it looks like. You have to be on the surface. That's good to know. Even if you're at the very, very top, if there's a back wall behind you, you can't open it. You can't get back. It's a little weak sauce. Okay, so going back here, go back to Moblin Central. This is the uh, work in progress Moblin Central until I find the house I want to live in. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm going to grab some of my tungsten. I left it all here because I don't want to lose it all like last time. So grab my tungsten. Go into um, here. Let's make some glass. Um, we can make a lot. We'll probably just make 50 for now, which is going to use up 100. So we'll wait for that. You can make paper empty bottles I might make like one or two empty bottles because it might I'm not sure if it's going to um, what's what I'm looking for if it's going to make it's give me a new recipe for new stuff because who knows maybe I can make like maybe becoming like a, some sort of cool alchemist and stuff I don't know fired clay not sure what that's going to do probably building material huh all right anyway let's make uh, two bottles let's see if we learn any new recipes nothing fired clay to a solid block actually this is nice yeah, lots of clay. We can we can make houses with this. Um, and then paper, of course, paper. Medical syringe. One iron. One iron bar for this. A full iron bar for a little little tiny syringe. Come on, game. Really? Come on. Come on, game. Come on. Let's be realistic here. All right. So now that we have that, we should absolutely be able to make the breathing. E P P. 
Um, in EPP stands for Enviral Protection Pack. Uh, produces breathable air, helpful in places with no breathable atmosphere. Boom, crafted. You obtain an Enviral Protector Pack. These specialized devices enable the user to survive in otherwise inhospitable environments. You can also enhance it with augments. Nice. So, boom. So, it's going to let's equip this. Uh, how do I equip this? Right here? Uh, so, you have to take off the light and put that there? Yeah. See, this is a backwear EPP. No, this is just a backwear. But now we have the actual thing we need to breathe with. So, that's always a good thing. Um, let's see. Let's eat a little bit and then we'll head to our moon planet right now. And look at these beak seeds. These things aren't cooked, but I'm running out of room here. So, I might as well eat these. And you can't cook these. I don't have the right cooked ingredients for it. Okay. Let's just, uh, leave the tungsten again. It's really important that you, like, really put the stuff down, right? Glass goes in there, too. Yeah, I guess I'll put some stuff in there. So, yeah. Oh, I can't wait to freaking have everything ready to go. All right. To this new planet. Away we go. Uh, really quick. How's my inventory? Looking good. Looking good. Ooh, I should probably drop this EPP here. So, we should... Yeah, let's drop these here. I don't want to die. Um, yeah. So, we, remember, you can use this to make you resistant to ice, but I'm not equipped to EPP with a right click. So, like this. Oh, I just upgraded it. It has ice resist on it. Hey, that's great. You don't have to do anything special. Just right click it. Well, that's cool. Hmm. Hope I didn't waste it by putting it on this specific EPP. But then again, I'm not sure if there are any different ones you can craft. Okay, so now that we're done with that, let's go to our first moon planet. Um, it's a really tiny planet, but we're only here for the Christus Urchus fuel. Once we get that, we'll be able to uh, jump poof, to different solar system because we pretty much explored the solar system we have now. It's a starting one. Everyone's going to get to it. It's pretty weak sauce. Remember, you can also um, you know, fix your ship up, but uh, I'm going to wait till we actually have a larger ship to do so. And I know you can enhance your ship with crews, more rooms and stuff. Pretty much make it the base. I'm not sure if like, because uh, the thing is you can live in your ship. Or you can live on one of the planets. But I'm pretty sure there's some stuff you can do on the planets that you can't do in the ship. Because what if you can make your own, you know, greenhouse in here and there's no point in, you know, living on a world if you can do everything here. Alright, so here we go. Beaming down to the current world. What if I wanted to live on a, on a moon planet? Yeah. Okay, so here we are. Welcome to the moon. What's this do? I'm spooked. My character is spooked? Why? I've never seen that before. All right. Look at that. Okay, so the gravity, of course, really low. It's really low. All right, I'm not sure if there's a if there are enemies around here. So let's keep our eyes peeled. Okay, so I got some moon dust. I'm detecting entities attracted by the moon's entrance deposit. Their interest when you will grow as you collect more fuel. I would define these entities as intractably deadly. I salute your fearlessness. Excuse me. What does that mean? So what I got out of what he just said is the more you dig it, <laughs> the more you dig it, the more like weird enemies might show up. So yeah, I know there's a bunch of Urchus crystals around and I'm going to grab more. All right, let's use my pickaxe. We can speed things up a little bit. I'm scared. Lots of moon dust. So I don't know how much fuel I actually want. Christus Urchus fuel. It's probably going down deeper will yield a lot more um, ingot sources. Uh, sorry, um, uh, more veins, but I'm, I'm good. I'm going to stay up here. And then I just want to see if there's anything on the surface because when I played Starbound in a much, much, much earlier state, there really isn't much to the moons. It's just you find it and leave. Oh, God, I'm dead. I'm dead, aren't I? Oh, okay. Looks like you don't straight up die because of the moon's gravity. I'm glad I figured that out now. I'm not glad, though. I uh, just let it happen, though. Moon oh, Jesus Christ! Are you, like, joking? Wait, wait, I gotta get out of here. What in the hell is that? Oh my god, I am going to shoot it. Take that. Take it. You can't kill it. Oh my god. It seems to want to suck in my soul guys I'm 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 spooked I did not know who oh, that existed oh my god dude I guess I guess that's a cool new feature they added feature like yeah they made it so 
you know, there's something of a danger on this on these planets, that's fine. But my god, it I'm freaked out. Okay, so it's gonna follow me, I'm assuming, but how fast is it, you know? How fast is it? Maybe if you collect more and more and more in a single run, it'll just chase you faster and faster. That's what I'm gonna guess. I hope that's not the case, and it's slow as all hell forever. Um, but yeah, it seems like it's going to be really difficult to avoid that particular entity in the underground. So let's stay up here for now for our at least our first warp. And I'm going to guess if you get touched by it, it's going to kill you. It's going to absolutely destroy you. Alright, I hope I don't just jump on one. That would, that would suck. That would be the end of our journey. And I give up. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so I don't see him, so that's good. He's really slow. We so spooked right now. We so spooked. So you can't leave this game AFK on the moon. No. I wouldn't even recommend going AFK. Unless you're in your own colony or ship. Because my god. It should look. It looks absolutely terrifying. I should have put. And I. Yeah. I should have done it. I usually do. You guys know. Uh, putting down. Um, hold on. Putting down. Um, torches. At the beginning of the world where I spawn. So I can walk around the whole world. And see if I've been there before. Uh, that really saves up a lot of time. Okay, let's break these. My god, it's so fast. It's so fast breaking this. It's so nice. I don't know how much crystal urchis fuel we actually need to get anywhere, though. Oh, it always scares me, like, going straight down like that. Um, let's see here. So this thing's about to break. That's fine. It broke. Actually, it's not that bad using this. Yeah, it's not that bad. Okay, I'm going to continue using the mana manipulator for this. What is this? Like crazy crazy liquid flying from the sky seems to be some sort of um acidic rain oh boy oh baby all right let's keep going down uh let's just grab as much as i can until we you know pretty much oh god this is taking forever i'm gonna speed this up by the way i don't i did not see any sort of way to purchase any pickaxes in the oh god oh god oh god oh oh god oh it's right there oh my god it's chasing me yeah, it seems to be slow still, but it's a steady, steady pace. And this, as long as I don't go underground, where I assume, like, why would you go under there? Other than, my god, the Urchus crystals are in huge abundances. You're going to die. So let's just keep going. I'm, like, spooked. This is terrible. Dude, this is, like, I, this is, like, horrifying. This is an absolute horror. Oh, They did a good job making that thing scary. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. Oh, gotta go, gotta go, gotta go right now. Gotta go, gotta go, gotta go. I feel like we've been here. But then again, everything looks the same, doesn't it? Go, 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 go. All right. Yep, I feel like we've... No, 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 we haven't. I would have absolutely gotten this vein. Like, look at this. This is this is a lot here. Uh, so just get as much as we can. Because I, I don't know. I think... I'm not sure if you need a thousand or something. But um, it'll scrap all the easy access ones on the surface. Because why the hell not? I don't want to fall down there. I do not want to fall down. There's no way up unless I dodge him and get back to the surface. Oh, I think, I think I've seen this before. I, <laughs> God, everything looks the same, guys. Everything looks the absolute same. Okay. Anyway, don't slow down. Just don't want to slow down. Do not want to slow down. Not at all. Not here. Not ever. Okay, let's keep going. I thought that was background for some reason. I tried to walk right into it. Okay. <clears throat> I think it's coming after me still. I'm just, I'm just freaked out. Okay. Ugh. I think we're good. Let me open these up. Sure, sure, sure. Eh, I'm so glad that the gravity is, like, really shitty here. Really low. Why, why can't it be this low on our planet Earth, right, guys? That would be really nice. Um, okay. I feel like that's it. We should probably head back now. Hmm. Uh, I don't remember seeing this type of pattern here. Maybe there's a little bit more. What if there's like some sort of moon cult, you know? You can see and fight it. Alright, alright, alright. This is not good. I'm trapping myself. I'm pretty much trapping myself. Alright, we're done. We're getting... Oh, look, look! You can knock out the back? You can knock out the back and beam up. Are you like kidding? You can just do that? Should we Should we do this? Because I don't know how much you can do this. Let's keep going down. Okay, I'm going to keep like preemptively doing this. Just in case. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, you can't do it anymore. You can only do it at a certain depth, at a certain depth. Okay, we're getting out of here. I do not want to risk this. What? That thing's freaky, man. That is so freaky. Alright, guys. Whoa. Let's see how much fuel we have. <laughs> Alright, let's fuel it up, man. How do I do this? I'm on 100. Fuel it. 
nice with 300. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to end it here. If you enjoyed, leave a like. It helps so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe and upload a lot of daily videos. It's time to start warp speeding. We are going to try to go to a new planet. Uh, we don't have that much fuel. We filled it about maybe like 1.4 1 at a fourth of it so yeah we'll, we'll see what happens but yeah i think it's gross you guys are scared along with me the, the thing that makes it extremely scary is not only is it slowly slowly chasing you it just you can't hurt it it goes through the walls and the music the atmosphere there's nothing going on in the moon Ooh, it gives me the chills so thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time